To detect the minuscule amount of heat given off by a single X-ray, engineers must employ cryogenics, the science of the super cold. Now, in order to make a good spectrometer, the detector needs to be very cold. An ordinary object doesn't change much when an X-ray hits it. So making it cold helps in two ways. One, it means that the temperature change is a larger fraction of the temperature it's sitting at. And two, the heat capacity of almost everything goes down very rapidly as you get close to absolute zero. So a little bit of energy causes the temperature to rise a lot. So we have to keep it very, very cold. We have to operate this detector at 60 milli degrees above absolute zero. So that's what the rest of the XRS instrument does, is it makes this really tiny detector cold. When you're trying to keep something that cold, you usually have to have a multi-stage system, and we do that as well. There's an outer layer of solid neon. That's 17 Kelvin. That's pretty cold for you and me, but it's still blazingly hot for our detectors. So inside that, there's a, a layer of, of liquid helium. And that's helium like in your helium balloons. And that's, that's at about 1.3 Kelvin. Um, and then inside that, there's an, uh, what we call an adiabatic demagnetization refrigerator, which uses magnetic spins inside actual atoms and aligns them and de-aligns them in such a way to get us down to 60 milli Kelvin. The XRS detectors are placed inside a Dewar. A Dewar is, is like a, a thermos bottle. If you have a real glass thermos bottle to keep your coffee in, that's a Dewar. And it's, it's two walls, and in between the walls is vacuum. So the heat can't get through from one side to the other by conduction or convection. Um, it can only get through by radiation, and that's why it's uh, if you look inside your thermos bottle, it's silver, and that reflects the radiation. We have, you know, a, just a tiny amount of power, and if, if there's a lot of heat, even if there's just a little bit of heat getting into the system, we won't be able to keep it cold. So you have to be very careful to isolate the inner structures that are very cold from the outer structures, which are not so cold.